Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel, and today we're here for Main Event Sunday. So pay, playing the $100, 150k guarantee baller and brawler main event here. Uh, two day events, so hopefully gonna make a big stack here on day one and make it into day two. Uh, before I jump into today's tournament video though, I wanna give you guys a little heads up on the stats on the left hand side of the screen that you'll see here. So you'll see I've divided it up between cash games and rake back as well as tournament category. A couple reasons for this. First one is just that I know a lot of people follow the channel for just really my cash games. Uh, so that way you can follow a tracker there, um, kind of see how I'm doing in the cash games um, and then also the tournament separate. Um, I was also finding myself in a situation where I didn't want to play tournaments because it was impacting the overall dollar amount that you guys would see for the profit loss. Um, no secret, haven't had great results in cash this year. So dusting off another thousand to make the overall results look worse. I was kind of finding myself not wanting to play tournaments just because of that. Uh, so this way they're differentiated. Um, also the tournament number will be bigger um, then it previously was just because I have the $25,000 PSPC um, added in there. So again, I did not pay for that buy-in myself, but the way I'm going to track terms is if I paid for all my buy-ins. Um, then also a note for cash and rakeback. Um, all the rakeback I get will be contributed to the cash and rakeback category. Um, obviously, some of my rakeback comes from tournaments, so it's not really the perfect formula here. Um, but the majority of my rakeback does come from cash games, uh, so I put them in one category. Um, so overall, at the end of the day, it's still going to have the total you can find It'll have everything accounted for between the two different categories, but it's just kind of spaced out for the reasons I laid out before. But for the three bet, some flatting here as well. So a three bet get called flop a king. Pretty good start. Start small king nine eight rainbow. So SPR a little over three to one going to the flop. We're going to be checking the turn quite a bit here. Uh, so eight on the turn check. Size on a small bet, just gonna be a call here. Two river check. I think probably have to call if he jams. The jack's not great because we block queen jack and jack 10 here. But I think we would have to call here. Ah, I really don't love it, but I think this is gonna be a call. Hopefully, it has like a 7 6 suited jack 10, queen jack. Again, I know we blocked some of those, but. As far as his value hands here, like I don't even know if he'd want to go for value with king queen, so it's like saying eight or better. So we're gonna call here. Shows ace queen bluff, king jack good. Main event here against the 3x open. We're gonna three bet the cutoff 10 9 suited. 8 6 5. Um, let's see. I'm not gonna have tons of bets here. I'm gonna bet this hand though. So we do have a gut shot. Calls pretty quick. Turn the nine. It's a heart though, and the four liner comes in. Gonna check the turn. Oh, there's a lot of bad rivers. See the four on the end. Jams. Yuck. All right, I think we're folding, but kind of disappointing here. That's going to call a lot of bets on the river, but I don't think we're going to call a two and a half X jam. Uh, again, don't have a lot of history with this player just because I don't play tons of tourneys, but we'll fold. Their jams. 23. I mean, this is super nitty to fold, but it's a pretty strong spot. I'm going to go plus one, and then they still jam. Ah, uh, let me think here. He's queen. I mean, later positions, I would just get this in, but. 16 in. It's a squeeze spot. I'm going to make a super nitty fold here. If these are later, even if we're like two positions over, I think I get this in low jack, high jack, and then they jam. Also, if they're jamming more like 20 blinds are under, more likely to call. So I know they're still like effectively only jamming 18 against me, but they still have to worry about the player behind. And like this flatting range under gun one can still be pretty strong. It's going to usually be a very tight range. Um, not like maybe super premiums, but still some pretty solid hands. So I end up folding, which is very tight, but let me all in. So back over the cutoff here. Just has a call fours. Virtually a flip here. Flop trip ace is a very good start. They do have a club though. All right, we fade it. Nice. Big double up up to 234. New peak for this tournament. One unfortunately down to 128 and 18 blinds. This player open rips 26. Oh, so. Oh, man. I wouldn't think they'd want to do this with their premiums. Even like nines, tens. Like, this is kind of awkward. I mean, this is such a big jam, but. Man. I mean, a lot of small pairs, I guess. It's frustrating when they have like nines or tens here, but I think I'm going to get this in with the eights. I'm hoping this is like sevens through twos more than it is like pairs that crush us. I don't think they're ever just ripping like aces or kings or queens even like this. So they show ace three. Really good spot. Nice. All right, eights get the double. So we raise king eight suited. Oh, a flop eight eight three. 
So I think four ways here is the opener. We just want to range check here, particularly two people behind. Obviously, we smash this flop. But I think we just want to range check here. Such a dry board. Much better for the caller ranges than mine. As far as the 8x, so we'll check here. And checks through. Bad turn card. The 8x that we're going to super cooler there, unfortunately, we're chopping with. Very bad turn. And see a bet out for pot. Just going to be a call here. Oh, so sad. It's going to be sad they have like a worse eight here. But just going to call. If they have a bluff, keep it in. Hopefully I have a three. But they check. And I think when they check, you're going to be really polar. So the only size I want to use is jam. So we're just going to jam. Hope they have a three. And decide to bet pot and then get it in here. So jamming right at pot. So they don't snap, call, or fold. That's going to be so sick if they have a three and call. This would be such a good spot. It was like such a bad turn. Folds a king of diamonds. Wow. Okay, so they must have a flush draw. So really too bad the flush draw didn't get there then. All right, so we open under the gun. Player rips it in for 11. This player we saw jam ace three earlier. So we call ace eight flipping. Uh, we do have the club covered as well. It's a very good flop. Nice. All right, so six is win. So open kings get called flop top set. Nice. King seven six here. Um, I think I'm gonna have some checks that range. I think I'm actually gonna check this one back. So we'll go for the check here. If the flush are out there, we'll bet. Two on the turn, great turn card here. No potential four liners can come in. So we decide to check back flop. Blocking a lot of top pair continues. Hard to get called for three streets. Remorse. Give a chance to bluff. Once they check, though, we do want to start betting at some point here. So I'll put in the turn bet. And again, tournament-wise, I'm not sure exactly what size I should use here. In cash, I would usually use pot. In this spot, if I check back on a king high board, and this tournament here, 30 blinds effect, I'm going to go for half pot. So bet call six river. Uh, let me think here. So again, haven't played much of this player before. I think I'm going to go for an exploit and go small, where I would assume that all their 6x is going to jam. This also helps me get some light calls from 7x, or if they decide to turn some hand into a bluff here. So... Again, this isn't going to be super balanced, but I think, especially in these turns when I play with people I don't play much with, I can go for some exploit sizings. And then again, like, I think they have to... Like, if I go big here, they might call us some 6x, but if I go small, I think that they will have to raise all their 6x. I'm just really hoping they have a 6. <laughs> or decide to turn a hand into a bluff. So they go to 124, and then, I mean, now it's gonna, now they're going to feel sick when I jam. So I guess maybe you should have gone half pot so they jam. Maybe that was a mistake. Maybe I was supposed to go half so they jam instead of raid. Because now if they fold a six, it feels so gross. It's so hard to have a bluff in my spot. So maybe I did misstep here. Maybe I should have gone half. So we do see the call. A6. Let's go. We still get paid. What a cooler. What a river card. All right, everyone. So we're officially post late reg here in the $100, 150K guarantee main event. Sitting on a nice stack here. 32 of 374. Looking at the final numbers for the entries here, we had 1,519 entries, 374 remain. Uh, min cash of 223 would be $219. First place, 22855 There's Queen Jack suited here. Bish has 24 blinds back. He jams here. I'd imagine this is kind of a close one. I think I'd call for under 20 bigs, fold this. Oh my gosh, we just flopped the Royal. Main event, guys. And we flopped the Royal. Not too bad. That is so sick. Wow. Okay, so I checked us here. Gonna be betting one big blind quite a bit on these monotone boards. And just the royal for us. Nothing to be worried about, Bish. You're just drawn dead. So we go for the small bet. See a call. Seven turn, and definitely gonna be betting turn as well. So I'm gonna go for half pot in the turn. And snap folds. All right. Well, it was fun to flop a royal. So we open, get called, flop top pair, good start. And gonna go for half pot on the flop. So we bet call five turn. Um, trying to think here. Probably gonna check the queen nine. I know it feels terrible to give a free card when there's some bad rivers, but. This is going to complete a lot of stuff they can have in here. 
Um, I don't want to risk getting check raised. It'd be awful. I know there's so many bad rivers, but I'm going to go ahead and check the turn here. We're a pretty good river. We lose to 4x now, but overall feeling pretty good. And if they check, we go for value. And if they bet, probably just call here. I don't want to face like huge sizes. Uh, small size will be good most of the time here. Big risk pocket twos. All right, so there it is in the money in another main event for us. So 100k starting stack, we have 1.2 million, good for 61 big blinds at the moment. Currently 21 of 222, so we've locked up 219 at 22,800 up top, and average stack right now is 684k. Here in the main event, opening King Jack suited under the gun, big blind. Has about 20 blinds here, and it folds them. Size on a call, flop of flush draw. And the two over cards here, so we'll bet the flop. So bet call, turn top pair, nice. Uh, double flush draw, I think definitely want to be betting again. I'm trying to think if we can even go big here on this one. I'm going to go for half. And then once we decide to do this, obviously at this point with this much in, we'd have to call. Wow, hopefully we're ahead, if not get there. Queen five suited, hold. Oh, queen on the river. Oh, 1.2 million chips in the main event. Man, that's a huge pot to lose. Oh my gosh, that hurts so bad. All right, so we got 12 blinds. Do pick up kings the next hand, though. And I've seen open. Hopefully this is us getting a double up here right after losing a huge all-in. Oh, that hurts in the main event, though. That is so painful. All right, call. It's a good squeeze spot. I'm going to go ahead and jam it in. All right, we're at risk. Kings, ace, queen, hold. Queen on the flop. Queen on the turn. Oh, absolute disaster in the main event. Back-to-back -back hands there, and we're super short. Wow. This is the crazy thing in tournaments. Like... Things can change very quickly. And unfortunately, they just did in those two hands. Oh, tournament poker can be so painful. So we're in game with King Nine suited. Small blinds, a little under half our stack at this point. So we're going to be three way all in here. Flop the nine. I think we're probably good. All right, yeah, so we do win the, the main pot there. So down about four big blinds, now we have ace-10. And here we go. All-in and at risk again. Fourth straight hand. Gonna be an all-in pot for us. Ace-10, seven-six suited. So we flop the ace, they turn a gutter. All right, so we get, get the double here. Small blind jams is actually probably best for us here. So then we can re-ISO as long as this player is not trapping aces or kings. Hopefully doing all right against the eight big blind stack here. This is for half our stack. It's king nine suited. Hold. Oh boy, they flop flush draw. <sighs> flush on the turn. Oh man, dream spot there. If we win that one, we're back up to 1.4 million. So I'm not really going to have any... If this player opens, we have like no fold equity, but get folds us. This is a great spot. Now to jam. Rooting for folds, but we can definitely get worse to call here. Calls king queen, 57%. Flop the ace... Nice, okay, so ace-6, good for the double. Ace-jack, all right, another good one. Another good one, so we got 15 here. I don't think we're just open jamming anymore. I think we're going for min-raise to this side. I would call versus small blind, somebody else. If button three bets, we probably fold. If big blind jams, it's close. I think we, I'd be really close versus big blind jamming. Yikes, that's of course what happens. All right, um, 15 blinds here we open off of. Yeah, I'd assume this is probably a call, but don't love it. Ace nine, hold. Oh, nine on the flop, we need help. Wow, we're out. Oh, man, we had him dominated for 1.9 million chips. That's really disappointing. All right, out in 68th for 408. Still a good day, but man, that would have been our new high point. We'd have... Over 30 blinds. Just got to hold. 
obviously ran good until like the later stages, but man, we lost some really big spots all in where we were favorite. Like 70% favorite in three different spots and lost them all. All right, YouTube, that's the end of our tournament video and unfortunately could not bag a stack for day two in the main event. Uh, still made a pretty good run though and we did book a winning tournament session, which we haven't had a lot of this year. So um, final results here, 23 entries, 830 in buy-ins, 1,139 in caches for plus 309. So hope you guys enjoyed today's tournament video and the hands. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to catch the live streams on Twitch, I have linked to my Twitch channel in the description below.